Hi, I'm Chris, manager of Como Jewelry Company in Joplin, Missouri. Today, I'm going to talk to you about synthetic diamonds versus natural diamonds. A synthetic diamond is also known as a man-made diamond or a lab-grown diamond and is created in a laboratory. The diamond is often described as a complete copy of a natural diamond since the same methods and procedures were used to create the synthetic diamond. A synthetic diamond contains the same crystal lattice structure as a natural diamond. The only remarkable difference between the two is that the synthetic diamonds are grown in a lab over a short period of time. Natural diamonds are actually hundreds of millions of years old or older and form over a hundred miles below the Earth's crust, making the gemstone extremely special and one of a kind. Some people might refer lab-grown diamonds as imitations or simulants, but that is incorrect. Imitations like cubic zirconia or synthetic moissanite, which only look like diamond, have very different chemical and physical properties. This allows trained gemologists to recognize them very readily. However, lab-grown diamonds are much harder to detect. It takes very expensive gemological equipment to identify the lab-grown diamonds from their natural counterparts. The way in which a synthetic diamond is created is less significant than the origins of a natural diamond. Natural diamonds are mined around the world through alluvial pipe and marining mining using different types of machinery and equipment. Synthetic diamonds are man-made in a lab. A scientist will place the element carbon under high pressure and high temperature to form a diamond crystal. There's another way that they grow synthetic diamonds in a lab, and that would be through the CVD process, known as chemical vapor deposition. During this process, a scientist will take a small seed of a diamond crystal and grow it layer by layer in a chamber. Depending on the size, color, and clarity, a lab-grown diamond can be up to 20 to 40% less expensive than a natural diamond. The price might differ if a lab-grown diamond is D to F in color. In this case, even though the diamond is man-made, it is still rare and can be just as expensive as an earthmine diamond. When it comes to synthetic diamonds and natural diamonds, the structure might be the same. But the remarkable beauty and character of a natural diamond are the fact that it was formed billions of years ago. It's also incredible to know that the gemstone was made over 100 miles below the Earth's crust. In the end, it's more than just a gemstone. It's the incredible journey a diamond had to go through before reaching your ring finger.